Hey scholars, and welcome back to another read aloud day. Today, I gotta take deep breaths. Because I am so excited. Today, we are going to be going into a chapter book. Say, oh yeah! Yeah, today we're going to go into a chapter book, but not just any chapter. Oh, so it was quote cool and then you just said date. See how excited I am, guys? I forgot to tell us the date, the day of the week, and the date because I was so excited for the book. Boy, Miss Coyle. Today is Wednesday. Today is, yes, today is Wednesday, April 22nd. And like I said, I'm very, very excited because today, are you ready? Say dun 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 dun. Today we are going to go into a chapter book. And before you start picking and seeing what it's going to be about by taking a, by making a prediction based on the front cover, I want to let you know that a chapter book comes along with some new cheers and chants and hand motions. And since it's our, it's our first day, you know that Miss Quayle's job is to teach us as best as I can to make sure that we set up our week really strong as we continue into this chapter book. So although it is Wednesday, it's our first book in this chapter book. So I'm going to introduce some new words. So you're going to just try your best like you always do, Vista Voyagers. Show me that self-determination as we face these new challenges of chapter book vocabulary. So guys, the reason we call this a chapter book is because it's one book and the title is Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day. It's one book but it has several different chapters that are just a different part of the same story. So when I look at the contents, it'll list all, and I'll show you a closer picture, it'll list all of the chapters and the page number I can find those chapters on. But these chapters are just a different part of the same story. It's called a chapter. It's called a, it's called a, yes. A chapter is a different part of the same story. Let's see if we can do that together. A chapter is your turn. Good. A chapter is, again, go. Good. A chapter is, again, go. Say, when I say different, I put my hands like this. Different. So a chapter is a different part of the same story. A chapter is a different part of the same story. A chapter is a different part of the same story. A chapter is a different part of the same story. A chapter is a good, a different part of the same story. See, so we'll work on that. So we know that our chapters are different part of the same story. Has a title. So the title of chapter number one is chatting. The title is chatting. The title is chatting. Yes, chatting, like talking on the phone, chatting. So the title, the word is title. The word is, yeah, a title tells a little bit about Again, the title tells, like talking hands, a title tells a little, we're gonna show our hands like little, a title, your turn, your turn. Yes, the title tells a little bit about, your turn, a title tells a little bit about, good, what the chapter is about. Because I know the chapter's in the book, so I'm gonna show book hands. A title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. Good, and we will continue to work on that. So if the title of my first chapter is chatting, and I'm just chatting to a friend, oh, that tells me a little bit about what the chapter is going to be about. It must be about someone talking to each other. I wonder who's going to talk to each other. If the title of chapter number two is captain, oh, I wonder who's going to be captain of field day. Since the title of our book is Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day, that makes me think it might be her. Hmm, I guess we're gonna have to stay tuned to find out once we read. And the last two words that we're gonna go over, we already know. We, yeah, we already know. The first word is character mental state. The words are character mental state. Get ready, go. Character mental state is what the character's thinking and feeling. Good, character mental state is what the character's thinking and feeling. 
good what the character thinks and how the character feels what they're thinking and how they're feeling. And then lastly, one that we all know, character actions, get ready, go. Character actions are what the character does. Oh, we could do it louder and prouder. Say, bring it on. Good, I can't wait to see who I can shout out for loud and proud voices for enthusiasm this week. Character actions, get ready, go. Character actions are what the character does. Nice job, say, I'm a smart cookie. Nice work. So scholars, our chapter book, Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day, is another fiction story. What is fiction? Fiction is get ready, go. Fiction is make believe stories. Good. We get to read this chapter book. Today, we are going to start with chapters one and two. You will notice that over here on my chart, I have chapter written out and I have the different chapters, chatting and captain. We're going to be looking at each chapter as we read. We're going to fill in the events, the character's actions, and the character's feelings. Say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good job. I already know it's going to be such a fun week, and you're going to do such an amazing job because we've been already working really hard with character feelings. So we're going to remember, shh, shh, we're going to remember our character feelings resource that you guys helped me create. Let's see it again. Take a look at all of these feelings. Whenever we're trying to figure out a character's feeling, I'm going to rewind and show us this resource, and I want you to think about these feelings, whether they're positive feelings or negative feelings. And you're going to ask yourself, what feeling fits for that chapter? So it's a little bit trickier with a chapter book because when we read longer books, we have to work extra hard as a reader. Chapter books rarely have pictures. Sometimes they have a few pictures, but not often. So because there's not a lot of pictures, we have to listen to the story elements even more carefully and keep track of what is happening in the story so we can better, visu better visualize it in our brains. Say we could do that. Nice job. Also remember, a chapter is a different part of the same story. So even though it's a different chapter, all of the chapters are part of the same story. Jeannie B. Jones is Captain Field Day. While we are reading these different chapters, we're gonna think about the big events happening in the chapter. We're gonna focus on the character's actions. What the character does. Yeah, what the character does. And their character mental state, what they're thinking and, yeah, their feelings. We're gonna keep track of those things while we are reading. All right, stars, before we get our story in and we get started reading. I have a challenge for you. Two claps, ready, go. Two stomps, ready, go. Two snaps, ready, go. Ooh, are you working on that snap? I thought I heard you loud and proud. I thought I heard Oliver snap. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it was Nicholas, or maybe it was Genesis. I don't know. That was a loud snap, though, that I heard. When we are reading, I'm still gonna have questions for you to answer. So we know that good readers always go back in the text to look for their text evidence. You got it, their text evidence. So as we're reading, we're still going to stop and answer some questions to help us better understand the story. Remember, any time we get tricked and we don't understand what's happening, we go back and, yes, we go back and reread. We can always go back and reread anytime there's something that we're unsure of. Say, so let's get started. Good. Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day by Barbara Park, illustrated by Denise Brunkus. See this table of contents that tells us, the, the contents page tells us all the chapters, the different part of the same story that we can find. So let's look at number one. Can you find number one? Find number one, chapter number one. Oh, you got it, nice job. The title is Chatting. Oh, perfect. So I know that chap not chapter one is chatting. Let's keep reading. Chatting. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. This morning, I woke up very excited because today we were having kindergarten field day at my school. That's why I couldn't stop shouting the happy news. Field day, today is field day. I shouted to my dog named Tickle. Then I quick ran to my baby brother's room. He was sleeping in his crib. So guys, I think the text already told us how Junie B. Jones is feeling in this chapter. How is Junie B. Jones feeling? Let's look at our resource in case we forgot some of the feelings we've already found. 
Huh, let's look back in the text. Where do you see the text says she was feeling excited? Do you see the word excited? Can you find it all on your own? Yeah, let's go back and reread, starting with this. Can you find the site word this? Yeah, this morning, I woke up very excited. Okay, so that tells me that Junie B. Jones is feeling excited. That's right in the text. I already know she's feeling excited. But how is she, what, what's making her feel excited? How do I know she's excited? Yeah, because it's field day. She's so excited because it's field day at school. Field day, today is field day, I shouted to baby Ollie. He woke up very fast. Then he started screaming his whole entire head off. Mother came running right in there. Junie B. Jones, for goodness sake, what has gotten into you this morning? I looked at that woman real curious. Field day, I said. Field day has gotten into me, mother. How could you ever forget? How could you even forget this important occasion? I have been talking about it all week. Remember, field day is when room nine goes against room eight and we have different races and stuff. Ollie kept on screaming. Could you quiet him down, please? I asked mother. He is taking the edge off of my good mood. She picked him up and patted him. Thank goodness Field Day is finally here, she said. Maybe now we'll be able to talk about something else for a change. I danced all around that woman. We will, mother. We will be able to talk about something else. After field day is over, we'll be able to talk about how room nine creamed room eight. Ha! I jumped up and down. You're coming to watch me, right? And daddy's coming too, right? Because room nine is going to win all the races, probably. So we will need lots of clapping and cheering. Mother ruffled my hair. Don't worry, we'll be there, she said. I think grandpa and grandma Miller might come too. Hooray, I said. Hooray for the whole darned family. After that, I ran out of the room and I called my bestest friend named Grace on the phone. Oh, she's calling someone on the phone. What was this title? What was the title of this chapter again? The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. What's the chapter titled? Chatting. Oh, they're chatting on the phone. Who is she calling? Grace, you got it. And wait till you hear this. I didn't even have to look up her number in the phone book because I finally got it memorized right in my head. Its name is 555-5555. And that was a hard number to remember, I tell you, because I kept forgetting the five. I pressed the numbers very careful. Hello, said a voice. I did a frown. Grace, what's wrong with your voice? How come you don't sound like yourself today? Do you have a froggy in your throat? All of a sudden, I did a gasp. Oh no, Grace, you didn't catch a cold, did you? You can't be sick today, Grace. Scars make a prediction. What is wrong with Grace's voice? What is wrong with Grace's voice? What do you think is wrong with her voice? Let's find out. Today is field day, and you are the fastest runner in kindergarten. Go tell your daddy that you have to come to school, Grace. Go tell him right now. Go, go, go. Just then. The voice talked again. This is Grace's daddy, it said. I looked at the phone. Oh, I said. Hello, Mr. Grace. No wonder you don't sound right, because you are not even Grace, that's why. And so where is she, anyway? Pretty soon, that Grace said hello. Grace, Grace, it's me, it's Junie B. Jones. I am so glad to hear your voice. You're not sick, are you, Grace? You're still coming to field day, right? Grace giggled real loud. Of course I'm coming to field day. Silly, she said, I have to come to field day. Remember, I am the fastest runner in kindergarten. So scholars, why was Grace's voice sounding funny? Why was Grace's voice sounding funny on the phone? What was wrong with her voice? Yeah, it wasn't her, it was her dad. Her dad answered the phone. Silly Junie B. Jones. I did another frown. Okay, here's the thing, Grace. You're not actually supposed to brag about yourself like that. My grandpa Miller said that is called tooting your own horn, and it is not even polite. That Grace did a huffy breath at me. Hmm, 
I am not tooting my horn, Junie B. I'm just saying the truth. We have lots of slow runners in our class, you know, like Lucille won't run fast because she doesn't like getting sweaty. And you're not exactly speedy yourself, Junie B. I sucked in my cheeks at that girl. So, yeah, so, I said. So, I'm going to have to give us a big lead, she said, because I'm the only fast one we have. I made a grouchy face. You just chewed it again, Grace, I said. Did not, she said. Did too, I said. Did not, did too. Just then, my mother called me. Okie doke, I've got to go now, Grace. See a friend, I said. See a friend, she said. After that, we both hanged up, and I skipped to my breakfast very happy. Because a nice conversation always starts the day off right. Guys, Judy B. Jones was saying something about Grace tooting her own horn, and then she tooted again. What does that mean? What did she mean by that? Tooting your own horn. What does that mean? Let's look back in the text on page six. I'm going to look in that paragraph where Junie B. said, hmm, tooting your own horn. Let's find it. Let's find the word okay. Do you see it? Let's start reading. Okay, here's the thing, Grace. You're not actually supposed to brag about yourself like that. My grandpa Miller said that is called tooting your own horn, and it is not even polite. What does it mean to toot your own horn? Yeah, it means you're bragging about something that you're good at or something that you have. You're bragging, and it's not polite to brag. Good job. So guys, we just read the first chapter titled Chatting. What big event happened in this story? What big event is happening in this story? There's something that the girls are looking forward to. A big event that is supposed to happen. What is it? Hmm, there's something big coming up in kindergarten. What is it? Put your fingers to your brains as we're thinking. What is that big event that is coming up? Yeah, field day is coming up. You got it. Let's put that on our chart. Field day is coming up. Okay, so field day is coming up. What big action? Character actions are. Get ready. Go. Character actions are what the character does. What did Junie B. Jones do in this chapter? What did she do in this chapter? We know that field day was coming up. There was something or someone that she really wanted to tell about that and make sure that they were coming too. Hmm. Yeah, Junie B. Jones calls Grace. Good job. Good, so Junie calls Grace. Well now, we're at the end of the chapter, and now I wanna know, what was the overall feelings that Junie B. Jones was feeling in this chapter? What was the feeling that she was feeling when she called Grace, and when she talked to her mom, when she woke up first thing in the morning to go tell Ollie all about field day? How was she feeling? Let's look back at our resource. How is she feeling throughout this chapter? Yeah, she's so excited. What is she so excited about? Field day, you got it. Let's put it on our chart. Nice job paying really close attention to our chapter one of the story, chatting. We were able to focus on our character's mental state, figuring out their actions, the big event coming up, and how they were feeling throughout the chapter. Our next chapter is titled Captain, good. Let's start reading. Chapter two, Captain. That day at school, room nine was very excited. Oh, everyone is feeling so excited. We kept laughing and jumping and giggling and shouting. Me and my bestest friends, Grace and Lucille, run and skipped all over the room because we had to warm up our muscles for field day, that's why. All of a sudden, my teacher hollered our names. Lucille, Junie B, Grace. Please take your seats right now. We stopped real fast. My teacher's name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. And that's all. Yes, but we need to keep on skipping. I said, because Grace said, we have to warm up our muscles for field day. If you don't warm up your muscles, your legs will get clams. Clamps, said Lucille. Cramps, said Grace. Mrs. smiled a little bit. You girls will have plenty of time to warm up outside, she said. But right now, we have an important job to do. Right now, we're going to pick a drum roll. We're going to pick a captain for our field day team. Just then, everyone got excited all over again. 
A boy named Meany Jim waved his hand in my teacher's face. Me, me, pick me, he hollered. I will make a great captain. No, pick me, teacher, shouted another boy named Polly Allen Puffer. I will be better than him. No, pick me. I'm the fastest runner in all of kindergarten, hollered that Grace. Mrs. sat down in her chair. She crossed her arms and waited for the yelling to stop. Sorry, how do you think Mrs. is feeling right now? Let's look at her actions. So she sat down in her chair. What else did she do? Yeah, she crossed her arms and she's waiting for the yelling to stop. How is she feeling? Yeah, we learned about the word frustrated. I think she's feeling a little frustrated too. All the scholars are yelling and screaming in her face saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. And I think she's waiting for them to stop. I think she wants them to calm down. What do you think? Yeah. I hurried to her desk, speedy quick. Mrs., Mrs., guess what? I did not shout just then. I said, did you hear me? Huh? Did you hear me not shouting? I was the only one in the whole room who didn't shout, I believe. I pulled on her sleeve. Maybe you should reward me for that behavior. I said, huh, Mrs.? What do you think? Maybe you should make me the captain of field day. Because that would teach the other children a good lesson, probably. Mrs. stood up. She walked me back to my table, and she pointed her finger at me. Sit, she said. Stay, she said. After that, she went back to her desk, and she held up a little basket. Boys and girls. Please listen carefully. In this basket, there are 18 folded slips of paper. 17 of the papers are blank, but one of the papers has the word, did you know the word? Captain, good job, printed on it. Whoever picks that one will be the captain of our field day team. After that, Mrs. carried the basket around the room. She stopped at every table and she let all the children pick a paper. Keep your papers folded until everyone has chosen, said Mrs. We'll all open our papers together. My stomach felt nervous and jumpy inside because I didn't want anyone else to pick the captain paper, of course. When Mrs. got to my table, my heart was pumping very much. Do, 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 do. She held up the basket for me to pick. I reached in real careful. Then I digged and digged all around in there. Mrs. tapped her foot. Please, Junie B, just pick one, okay? She said. Yeah, but I don't think my fingers have touched the right paper yet, I said. I am waiting to get the right vibes. Vibes, said Mrs. It's short for vibrations. Whatever, I said. Then I digged and digged some more. For the love of Pete, said Mrs. Just pick one. After that, I quick picked a teensy paper from the basket. Then I waited at my seat, very patient, until all the rest of the children picked two. Mrs. smiled. Okay, everyone, when I count to three, you can open your papers. One, two, three. I opened my nut. Then I did a gasp, because I saw letters. That's why. Mrs., Mrs., look, my paper has letters on it. It is the word captain, I think. I zoomed to the front of the room to show her. And guess what? She said I was right. I skipped around in a circle. Hooray, hooray, I am it, people. I am Captain Field Day. After that, I laughed and danced and clapped and clapped. Only what do you know? Nobody else clapped with me. All right, so in chapter number two, our title was Captain. That kind of helps me out with the big event because I know the title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. It tells, are you ready? The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. So if it's about the captain, what big event happened in this, in this chapter? A big event happened in this chapter. We know in chapter one, the big event was field days coming up. What's the big event for this chapter? Yeah, the field day captain was chosen. Let's put that on our chart. Okay, so the field day captain is chosen. What action did Junie B. Jones do in this chapter? What was her big action? Character actions, get ready. Go. Character actions are what the character does. 
Love how we're thinking it through inside our brains. Yeah, she's the one who picks captain. So she's the one who picks the card, the paper that says captain. So she becomes the captain of field day. Good job, scholars. So we said that she picks the paper that says captain. So now we know Junie B. Jones is going to be captain for her classroom. I want to know, how do we say that she's feeling now at the end of the chapter? Yeah, she's feeling very happy. She's so happy, so excited to be captain. That's what she wanted. That was her motivation. She wanted to be captain of field day. But I have a tricky question for you to answer on your own today. I noticed when we look back in the text on page 15, at the very end, look for the very last sentence. Can you find it? I wonder who's going to find it the fastest. Where is the very last sentence? Oh, you beat me. Nobody else clapped with me. That's what Junie B. Jones says. So as if nobody is clapping with her, she's so excited. We know she said, hooray, hooray. I'm it, people. I am Captain Field Day. If nobody else is clapping, my question for you is, good job. My question for you is, how are the other scholars feeling when Junie B. Jones is running around celebrating that she is captain? How are the other scholars feeling? We already said Junie B. Jones is feeling very happy, very excited. How are the other scholars feeling? Remember, good readers always go back and include their text evidence, so be sure you use your evidence from the text. Tomorrow, we're going to start off with some of the feelings that you give me for the other scholars in class. How are they feeling? Here's your feelings resource again. Remember, you can always use this resource to help you find some feelings, but some feelings might not be on there. I need smart cookies who are going to share those feelings with me based on what they think from the book. So good today. I love that when we're reading a chapter book, we're staying even more focused on the different chapters so we can fully understand the story. Tomorrow, we'll be reading chapters three and four, so I can't wait to see you back for another day of Read Aloud. Remember, we're answering the question, how do the other scholars feel when Junie B. Jones is picked for Captain of Field Day? Answer that question, go ahead and snap a picture if you can and send it to your teacher. And I'm always looking for new scholars who I can shout out on our Read Aloud videos. See you tomorrow, scholars. Bye.